Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work on some JavaScript for CIS 340. And this is just a simple example where we have a, a web page, and sometimes mouse over is called image swap. And you'll see when I take the mouse and I drive over the image, it changes to another image. In this case, she's preparing to be tossed, and then we click on, we uh, just mouse over, no clicking involved, and she's up in the air with the next photo. Okay, so let's look at the code for this, and I'll just quickly bring up view source, let you see it. And just a simple web page, we didn't even put the doc type in this time, just HTML, head, and within the head we're going to put the uh, CSS in there. We've already done a little CSS anyway um, with a background color. And I've also added something new in here too, it's called resize, and that's when you've got images that maybe of various sizes, but you want to tell them to be a certain size. So we get a width of 305 pixels and a height, we just set it to auto. And I'll take the images and put them in this particular proportion. So if it's th the width is fixed obviously, but it'll make the height whatever it needs to be to be in proportion. So that's a nice trick to be able to do. Um, we, end the we end the CSS style there, and then we uh, end the head. And then with it, after title, we um, actually start our JavaScript. So this is script type equals text JavaScript is something new for you. And then our first function, we'll do an image over, and we have this document dot get element by ID, and then we plug in the uh, image name, and then we have another function down here called image out, and again document dot get element by ID, and we put our other image in there. Uh, the original image is this one, and the second image that pops up is this one. And we end our script, our JavaScript there, which is a s end of script tag. And then we start the body of the web page. And then we have a href in there that uh, ties in with our on mouse over, uh, image over, on mouse out, image out. And the image source is cheer to start with. And class, we put the class in there for resize so that it will resize that image and the alt is cheer and so on and so forth. Uh, in that and then also make sure you have your ending A element here. And then we just put a simple H1 tag, beginning and ending tag there, end of body, end of HTML. So let's recreate this and see how it works. I uh, hope you can see it well enough on your own monitors. Uh, let me just launch uh, Notepad and we'll start at the top with um, our opening HTML tag and then our head tag, and then our style type equal to our text, this is obviously for CSS, and then we'll put body, that's just for CSS of course, or um, open curly brace there, and uh, put in some background color, we just used a gray on this one, or silver I should say. Uh, actually, within CSS, the you know there's about 18 colors or 17 colors that it recognizes. We can just put silver in there without having to put an actual code in. So closed curly brace there, and then go down, and we can do our dot resize, which is going to take care of resizing the image. And we'll put the width in there of 305. You can go back and change that just to see how that. Uh, works with a different size in there. Height, uh, we said we're going to leave it at auto. And close curlies there. And end of style. Okay, And then we'll go down to title tag. And we're just going to say image swap. And end of title. And then Let's go down to our JavaScript start script type equals, so it'll know it's JavaScript because there's more than one kind of script. Text JavaScript. Now JavaScript is case sensitive, it's, so you'll see some camel case along the way. So pay attention to that. Um, we'll put our first function in for JavaScript. Put the image over, notice the um, O and over is capitalized. And then we'll have the document dot get element by 
ID and look at the uh, camel case going on in here. Pay attention to that. And then we'll put our first image in, which is uh, cheer 2jpg And we'll have our clothes curly there. And we'll do another function is image out. That's a capital O and then a lowercase ut. So make sure again you get your camel case going on. Open curlies and again kind of replicate that previous uh, function we did. Get, whoops, get element by id dot src. Now this time we're going to put that other the original image in which is just cheer.jpg close curlies and then end of script next uh, that's in, and then that's end of head and we want to get down to the body got a little bit more to do in there we're going to put an href in there And we're going to put the number symbol in there. And we're going to say on mouse over equals image over. Again, camel case is going on. Some things are single quotes, some things are double quotes. And then on mouse out, img out. Then we put our image source in there that you're used to seeing. That is lowercase class. Yeah. Now put our class in there so it will resize the images. And put your alt in there. And your ID in there. backslash ending angle bracket and you're not done yet though of course with your href until you put your end of a element there and then put your simple h1 we're almost done here h1 this is our mouse over or image swap example end of h1 End of body, uh, end of HTML, and hopefully didn't have any mistypes in there. I'll just scan it briefly. It's rare that we get all the way through one of these the first time anyway without uh, some typing errors along the way. But that's just part of debugging it. I see a double one there, I don't need. It's like another double one there. Okay, so we'll save this one. And let's make sure I get it in the right folder. The JavaScript folder. I'm going to call it um, image swap. HTML. Yes, I'm going to replace it. And uh, let's take a look at it in the browser and see if it'll display for us. And let me just exit out of this one. And let me exit out of this one so we get the right one up and get all.
all these off of there and start fresh. And let's see. Let me go back to our correct folder for this particular class. Uh, 340 online and there's our JavaScript folder and I think we called it image swap and this let me make sure it's the exact one we were just working on uh, yep that's about the time alright so let's launch this and see how it looks okay we have a gray background so we have an image and some text and let me drive over it yay it worked okay so we're over here and then we mouse over and the next image pops right up and it's um, also kept it um, you know they're the same size it works best if you keep it the images the same uh, height and width if you can uh, a lot of times you'll see this on the web when they may, may have a button that's just a regular looking kind of button and then when you mouse over it it lights up so that's another use for image swap um, let's um, toy with it just a bit let's go down and um, to show some resize choices in Notepad. Um, I think I did exit out of that. All right, let me just bring it back up. And yeah, uh, easier this way. Click open with Notepad to change some things on the images. I thought we could go in here and do this. Um, we could go up and you know change the width of the image. Okay, it's 305 pixels right now. It's kind of big, so if you want to check it down to 105 just to see the difference, we can do that. And of course, the auto takes care of itself. So just save that change. Go back to our page and refresh. And notice how it makes our image. Um, you know now just 105 and it kept it in proportion still works just like it did before it's just we've got smaller images to work with so that's resize is a nice trick to be able to do in um, CSS actually so that's two lessons in one alright I hope that um, helps and I hope you can um, see the code figure out the code and um, proof the code so it works out for you thank you